Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kuholoyimla, Yahwa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakahakodash, that were honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Jachanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And uh, saw this, this this nice little article on the surprising origins of dreadlocks. And what you so-called blacks are going to realize is this is not your custom. <laughs> Has absolutely nothing to do with you. Okay, um, it says, have you ever wondered where dreadlocks come, come from? These unique hairstyles have a rich history that spans continents and cultures. From ancient Egypt to, Rastafar to the Rastafarian movement in Jamaica, dreadlocks have been worn by people for various reasons, including spiritual, cultural, and even practical purposes. Some believe that the style originated in Africa, while others point to earlier depictions in Hindu scriptures. Regardless of their exact beginnings, dreadlocks have become a symbol of identity and expression for many. Join us as we unravel the fascinating story behind the iconic hairstyles and its journey through time. Okay, so the surprising origins of dreadlocks. Dreadlocks, often associated with Rastafarian culture, have a rich history that spans continents and centuries. These iconic hairstyles have been worn by various cultures for different reasons. Okay, uh, ancient Egypt, which we were slaves there. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are Israelites, and you were enslaved in Egypt. And there's there's scriptures to back that up. And um, us coming out of the, the house of bondage, where the Lord, he brought us through the Red Sea and set us up in um, our land, you know, the promised land at the time. And, of course, our people, you know, were disobedient to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Shai and wanted to serve the gods and, you know, uh, just wanted to serve the cultures of these other nations, basically. Their gods, their way of living, instead of our way of living. So these, these that dreadlock shit, that comes from another nation or multiple nations. But really it comes from, it doesn't come from us. We, we, this is something that we, we were not into not, you know, twisting our, we wasn't into that shit. Long ass hair down our backs, you know, shoulder length, you know, um, back length. I, I I even be seeing Jake, man. Jake be having dreads, man, past their ass cheeks, bro. That shit is crazy. And they be raggedy as hell. About the, you know, the weight of the damn braid is pulling from the root where it just look terrible, bro. But, but anyway, let's read a little bit more into it. Ancient Egypt is one of the earliest known cultures to have worn dreadlocks. Mummies have been discovered with their hair still intact, styled in what we now recognize as dreadlocks. Now, I'm not sure if that was a burial thing. Could have been a burial thing or if they was wearing them above ground before burial. Who knows? Pharaoh and nobles. Okay. Egyptian royalty and high ranking officials often wore dreadlocks. Okay. All right. So pharaohs and nobles. And our people got this 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 thinking that we are um, Africans. You got to get that shit out of your head. We're not Hamites. I went in, into that the other day. Let's 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 do something real quick. We're not Hamites, man. Because Africans are Hamites. We are Shemites. Oh, matter of fact, it's already there. Because I did go into this the other day. The Zondervans comp the Zondervans. Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham, not the Negroes. See? Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eighth persons, eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. See? So we're not Egyptians. Let me read that back again. He became the progenitor, which is the, 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 the actual origin or the family tree or the pro, uh, progenitor of the dark races. But it says not the Negroes, though, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans and 
Canaanites. So we're different from them. In Africa, the continent of Africa, let's get that too. I'm so lucky. Let's go into that real quick. The continent of Africa is 54 countries. And a lot of people don't know that. Let's just put in how many countries are in the continent of Africa. Oh, so lucky. See, it says there are 54 countries in Africa today, according to the United Nations. And, you know, Esau, they'll go through and break that bitch up and, and, and they can bust them shits down and, and, and have a south and a west, of, a south and a north or whatever in all those places and, and, and turn that shit up. You know what I'm saying? So, but we're not Africans, man. There's 54 countries in the, in the continent of Africa. And where would you say you're from if you're going to say you're African? And Africa is named after, let's, let's just do Let's put in who was Africa named after? More information. The origins of the name of Africa is debated by historians, but some theory it says the Romans may have named the land after a, a Berber tribe that lived in a Carthage area, which is known as Tunisia. The Romans called the tribe Afri, Afer, or or Ifer, and their or in the region Afriterra, which means the land of Afri. The, the the Latin suspect Ica is used to denote a landmass. So so you got um. It says um the him him. Him, your rights. According to Ibn Kalakan and other historians, the name may come from a Hemurite king named African African Ibn Kas Ibn Safa, which means Africa's son of Abraham. The uh, the Arabic word Africa. Yeah, they got a lot going on here, but generally it's um. Yeah, yeah, they, they, this is information they never used to have before. So this is something new. Because it's, it's, it's normally known to be um, named after... Um, yep, Scipio Africanus. Right here. Publius Cornelius Scipio Africanus was a Roman general and statesman. Most, notab no, most notable as one of the main architects of Rome's victory against Carthage. So, pretty much overall, it's named after a so-called white man. Africa. A lot of people don't know that. But when you think of all those so-called dark people over there, you think that it's named, you know, and, and actually, it was actually called Ham before it was, you know, which means hot. Let's see if we can get that. What's the original name for Africa? And it should be Ham. I should have put in according to the Bible. Because they, they got a lot of lot of stuff going on. The Bible is, is the ultimate history. Let me just put in the Bible. Yeah, they got a lot going on now. They, 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 they this, this, they, they little AI program. See, this is the AI overview too. They, yeah, they done put a lot of stuff in here. There's not much information about the original name of Africa in the Bible. What the fuck do you mean? Anyway, man. So like you, <laughs> but hey, this, this is Esau, man. They trying to change shit up. Yeah, it's a lot of different stuff in here now when you pull stuff like that up. But that's ham, man. It was called ham, which which uh, originally means hot, right? So let's go back into the dreadlocks thing. This is not a so-called black person thing, man. And when you see see like this picture that they got, they they this is what you generally see. 
We didn't wear hairstyles like this. You know? If you had a Nazarite vowel, you know, you grew longer hair until the vowel was over with and you got your hair cut. You know, but we that wasn't a, a hairstyle amongst our people. You know, when we lived in, um, you know, in Israel, man. Okay, it says, in India, dreadlocks have been worn for thousands of years, primarily by holy men and women known as Sadhas. Sadhas, these ascetic monks wear dreadlocks as a sign of their renunciation of worldly possessions and dedication to spiritual practice. Shiva worship. You know, that's the, that's the chick with the eight arms or whatever, how many fucking arms you got. Follow, followers of God, Shiva, often wear dreadlocks, emulating the deity who is depicted with matted hair. Ancient Greece. Even in ancient Greece, dreadlocks made an appearance, particularly among certain groups and individuals. Warriors, Greek warriors sometimes wore dreadlocks, believing the style would intimidate their enemies. Who So... You can go into the Apocrypha and get the, you know, um, history of the the Israelites going into slavery, you know, under the Greeks. That's where you get the Greeks in the New Testament. It's not, you know what I'm saying, some, the Lord is coming to save everybody. Those Greeks in the New Testament were Greeks, Hebrew Israelites that were in captivity to the Greeks and lived those Greek, her, um, 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 they lived those Greek lifestyles so they would have had some would have had dreadlocks which wasn't common amongst the israelites you know so when you put it together in the new testament as far as um paul was sent to the uncircumcised and why peter was sent to the circumcised the the, the circumcised you know of uh, of the israelites that was still going to the temple and that was keeping the law sections and commandments they was looking at those israelites that was living after the greek customs like they was trash man you're looking like nigga, your your hair matted and nasty. That wasn't a custom that that was, you know, a part of Israelite customs, man. That's not our custom. It says philosophers. Some philosophers and thinkers wore dreadlocks as a symbol of their unconventional thinking and lifestyle. Yeah, weirdoism. That's pretty much what it is. I'm 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 you know. I'm I gotta be abstract. I'm different. I'm so different that look at my hair. I don't comb my shit. <laughs> I don't wash it like how y'all do, you know. I I'm different. I can remember back in the days, you know, when I used to go to these little hip hop spots and shit, and motherfuckers had dreadlocks with shells in their damn head, seashells in their head, with goddamn incense burning. They'll shove a damn incense in their damn dreads and light that bitch. Used to be looking at them like, even then, that was before I came into the truth. Like, what the hell is going on with y'all? What's that? They got the uh, Maasi warriors in Kenya traditionally wear long red dreadlocks dyed with okra. Himba people, the Himba people of Nimbia use a mixture of butter, okra, and herbs to create their distinctive dreadlocks. Rastafarian movement. Now this came along phew, fucking doing Bob Marley or something. It wasn't even, you know, it says spiritual symbol for Rastafarians. Dreadlocks symbolize a covenant with God and a rejection of Babylon. Representing Western society and oppression. No, the Lord ain't tell you to not comb your goddamn head because you mad with, a, with Esau. Bob Marley, the legendary musician, popularized dreadlocks worldwide, making them a symbol of resistance and cultural pride. So pretty much this is where Negroes kind of got their fix in it. As far as like this new school of Negroes, then you just got people that don't even know why they wear them. They just feel in their cultural. You know, you see a a, 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 a chick with a goddamn um, with that, that earring through the middle of her nostrils. Yeah, stay away from them. Trust me. Stay away. Modern interpretations. Today, dreadlocks are worn by people of all backgrounds. Hey, I seen a white dude at the construction. Well, I don't know. He might have been a Jake. But he damn sure look like it need a mic. But, you know, it's not, um, we know that it's not a color thing, not a skin color thing. But he had, you know, he had them shits hanging there. They, they was to his ass, man. He out there on the construction site. And, you know, generally, they don't even let you wear your hair like that in case your shit get caught up in some machinery and snatch your damn scalp off. Cultural pride. 
For some, dreadlocks are a way to connect with their heritage and celebrate their cultural identity. These people don't even know what they actually be celebrating. No, that's the crazy part. And, and this goes on and on. But let me get this one scripture real quick. See how it's worded. Yeah, uh, First Corinthians is eleven and fourteen. Do of not even nature itself teach you that a that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. And generally, that's, you know, you, you have um, dudes with the short twist. You know, it's some, you know, they starting them out when they starting them out, they're shorter, but they really starting them out so they can get longer. You know, that that's their goal. It's for the dreadlocks to get longer. And it has absolutely nothing to do with you Negroes. That's not our that's not our lifestyle. That's not our way of living, man. Matter of fact, let's get this. Um, Jeremiah chapter 10. In verse 1, let me start at verse 1. Hear ye the word of Yahweh. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth the tree out of the forest, and worketh the hands of a workman with the axe. And that's going off into Christmas. But basically, this... This chapter is starting off and it's going off into not doing what the heathen were doing when we were when we were in captivity, so to speak. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Proverbs 3 and 31. But we're not to learn the ways of the heathen because the heathen, their customs are vain. It's a vain custom to have, you know, your hair all, all twisted up like that. Like for what? Like like what 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 you gonna you know what like what 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 what's gonna be accomplished from that? And you got and you got men out here they be they be flipping their hair and shit you know be throwing that shit behind they <laughs> behind they you know just 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 flicking it you know what I'm saying? Anyway yeah my uncle you know pulling up whatever it was. What's, what's going on, man? All right, Salakia. But yeah, man, these customs of the people are vain, man. But you can clearly see, look at all these different cultures. Dreadlocks have a rich and um, varied custom reflecting diverse cultures and belief of those who wear them. From ancient Egypt to modern fashion, the iconic hairstyle continues to captivate and inspire. Dreadlocks are rich history. They go, so it goes on. It's, it's, you know, that was pretty much about it. Let's get the rest in here. Uh, dreadlocks have a deep, varied history that spans continents and cultures, from ancient Egypt to the Rastafarian movement, and that's the that this really what Jake get it from, which was back in Bob Marley day. They went Jake went going all hardcore before Bob Marley jumped off. Right? They symbolize spiritual beliefs, social status, and personal identities. Understanding the origins of dreadlocks helps appreciate the cultural Im importance today. This hairstyle isn't just a fashion statement. It's, it's, it, it really is for Jake. Jake don't know what the fuck they doing when they, they just it's a fashion statement for them. That's for sure. A represents a, a representation of resilience and pride, whether seen in ancient artifacts or modern streets. Dreadlocks tells the story of strength and tradition. Next time you see someone with dreadlocks, remember the rich history behind those locks. They are more than just hair. They are a testament to human diversity and cultural heritage. Embrace the knowledge. And respect the journey that dreadlocks represent. Nah, man, we we combed our goddamn hair, bro. We wasn't like some just some ancient monkey swinging from trees that didn't have ways of um upkeeping our hair, man. You know that that this is not. And don't get me wrong, you got people that's out here. Hey, they 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 shit. They 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 good with it. You know, they keep them clean. You know, fresh, whatever, however they do it, or whatever. But that's not our culture. That's not um, something that um, the Lord set up for us. That's not our culture, man. Those are heathen customs. 
that um the, the these dreadlocks come from. Cause see, like this this guy's hair, that's too long. If he were if if he wore a warrior, and he was to go out to war, he would have to wear you know something over his head to keep his hair from getting um grabbed. And if it's hanging out of his mask or his helmet. You know, which you see that on the football field a lot with some of these, um, these Jake, you know, damn dreads hanging out on their ass while they running a football. And, 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 and as soon as a person go for the tackle, they pulling on your fucking hair, snatching your damn neck back. This is not our custom, man. Let's see what some of these comments say. This person says some of them look very, really nasty, especially the weaves who wears three feet of extensions. Most look like they have not been washed in months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they do look nasty most of the time with a lot of these niggas, man. The original origins of dreads comes out of the Bible in number six and five. Nah, nah, nah. Let's go to that real quick. That's not our lifestyle. That's not um what we're into, man. Okay, so number six and five, it says all the days of the vow of his separation. Let's go up one. So this is pretty much going off into, um, let's start from the top. Verse one, and the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses saying, speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, when, when either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of, the, of a Nazarite. See, that's why I was talking about. Yeah, we wore longer hair. As far as your Nazarite vow, it depends on how long it was, it grew. To separate themselves unto the Lord. He shall separate himself from wine and strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine or vinegar of strong drink, neither shall he drink any liquor of the grapes, of grapes, nor eat moist grapes or dry. All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the kernels even to the husk. All the days of the now this this is the verse that they, they 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 pointed out to. All the days of the vow of his separation, there shall no razor come upon his head until the days be fulfilled, and in the which he separated himself unto the Lord, he shall be holy and shall and shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow. All right. So now let's go off into this word lock. Cause see, they be drink, they be thinking of dreadlocks. What we had was, you know, what would have been like plaits or um, braids. It's on um, para, eight sixty five forty five. Hair long of the head, locks, leader. Uh, let me see, para, the hair as this heavel. hair so called from the idea of shaving so they have number six and five they also have um ezekiel 44 and 20 let's go there real quick ezekiel 44 and 20 neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow long they shall only pull their heads right so when they see this word locks it's really just going off into um, braiding. Same word. Let's get the original. It's, it's from the entomology 865.44. To lead, act as a leader, to let go, let loose, ignore, let alone. To let loose, basically, to let let loose, because when you're doing dreads, you can't let them loose. You can only cut them off with plaits or with cornrows, because that's pretty much because that's what um, um Samson had. Samson had um um. Let's see here. Let's go into it, because you you can't undo dreadlocks. All you can do is shove shave them bitches off. They're too matted to undo. So it says to let loose. That's to you're 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 basically unloose. You, you see, I seen a dude walking up the street taking out his his damn um 
uh, corn rolls. He had a couple of corn rolls going to the back of his head, and he was taking them bitches out while he was um, walking up the street. You can take plaques and loose, or 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 corn rolls are loose. You can't unloosen dreadlocks, man. You gotta cut them them shits, man. Let's see though. Uh, let me see. Cause Samson has seven locks. Let me see. It's lock here. See how it's worded. Yeah, you can clearly see right here. Um, 16 judges, 16 and 13, and Delilah, which he should have never spoke to that bitch, said unto Samson, Samson, here they're there too. Thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web, <laughs> see. And then in verse six, 19, it says, And she made him sleep upon her knees. And, she, and man, don't be sleeping on no bitch's knees, man, where she can just do whatever to you. He's simping and shit, man. Samson was kind of Simpson in this area. <laughs> and she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. When's the last time you seen somebody with seven dreadlocks? I've seen some niggas with some of them, them stupid doofy them dum 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 dums. I don't know what 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 make a nigga think nothing that goddamn stupid. Them um I don't know what the fuck they call them. I don't even know what they call them dreadlocks. Of his head, it says uh, and um she began to afflict him and his strength went went from him. But he had seven locks, man. Let's see here though. Let's go into this one. She had seven basically he had seven cornrows, man. He ain't have no Seven big stupid ass nasty ass dreadlocks hanging off his fucking head, man. Get the hell out of here. Ain't probably the same word, but let's see how they got it in here. See now this is a different word. Um Ma La Pa, the locks, H4253. A braid. See braids. Plats. See that? Plats, man. That's what that was. That's what that was. Plats. He had, see, you can clearly see, man. This is not, that wasn't a lifestyle of ours. So them trying to use numbers six and five is going all the way off. Because Jake really, you know, really believed that they were Africans. That's that thing that a real problem and stumbling block with our people. And Esau, the so-called white man, he actually pushed that through his curriculum in the schools on our people that we are Africans and we're not we're not Hamites man we're Shemites we're, we're different people from them man we're not we're not fucking Hamites and Jake get that you know we're Egyptian we're Ethiopians we're 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 Ugandans we're you know uh Mozambique whatever you know we're all these we're all 54 countries at one time how the fuck could you be <laughs> hey look those people in Africa, man, they ain't trying to associate with you Negroes, man. They, they'll, they'll try and do what you do. They'll emulate your music. They'll try and, you know, um, duplicate your, your basketball skills, football skills, and shit like that. But they don't want nothing to have. They don't want nothing to do with you. Because they understand that they're different from you. And that we're not the same people. We're, we're not, man. But this right here, clear cut right here. It says braid, lock, plat. See, that's a totally different um, wording for it. Let's see here. Yep, plats. Plats of the hair. Here you go. Judges 16 and 13 and 19. Plats of the hair. Plats are far different from dreads. Because it said to loosen. So once you loose those plats, you know, you kind of, you know, you see Jake, man. Jake had those froze, man. And the little, little curls. You know, after you, you, done un, you know, unraveled it. It's all curly and shit. And you wash it up. And then you might do it all over again. You can't do that with dreads. You can only cut dreads off. You can only either wash them nasty shits. And I don't even get it. I guess you screw up through them. I don't know. But 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 you're not letting them down. You're not going to be, be able to open them up and let them breathe. You just got to cut them off if, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't do it like that. So... I wanted to just touch on this real quick, you know, um, because our people have this misconception that, 
we are Africans and this has something to do with our lifestyle. And you know what? It's, it's crazy. This is the spirit because the apostles been bringing this out. And you got a lot of, um, you know, um, IUIC. You got a lot of these Israelite, um, you know, you got Israelite camps. You ain't going to see nobody, nobody in um, GMS as far as an Israelite with no goddamn dreads in their head. You, uh, the apostles getting rid of your ass quickly. You you gone. You ain't about to have no 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 dreads, and um, especially not this long. Your hair not not going to even be this long in GMS. You out of there. They're going to make that call. Hey, who is that guy that's on the front line in the, in the camp? They're not going to even let you online because they're going to already know. But now IUIC, um, I think ISUPK, uh, even, I don't even, you know, uh, I don't know about Sakari or whatever. But anyway, this is not our custom, man. So I'm going to end out there. I'm glad I seen this. You know, this is the spirit. Look, man, if you got long ass dreadlocks and the scripture says that it, it, it goes against the law to have dreads or long hair. Paul mentioned that. And you got Sakari, they, you know, they kind of go against the grain. They, you know, well, I don't see um, Paul's uh, writings as being authorized. So they can wear them damn hats and have that long ass hair, you know. But no, nah, man, Paul's writings are scriptural. We're not to wear hairdos like this guy right here. He probably think he cute as hell. Maybe be all effeminate, trying to be sexy, running their fingers and shit through their hair. You know, just, just looking like Esau on Baywatch or some shit on the beach, man. <laughs> the hell out of here, man. That's not our lifestyle. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashala and the Bible Ball.